everybody, I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this look I'm wearing right now. This gives me very twiggy vibes. I did not plan it like this. You're gonna see throughout this video that I've been very disappointed with a certain product. So you gotta watch and see exactly what I'm talking about. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and please click on that ring bell button this way you will be notified every time I'm posting a new video and if you'd like to see how I've created this look then please keep on watching no you do not see wrong I actually have two different earrings I looked twice and I was like okay maybe this is fashionable I want to be fashionable so two different earrings if they start to do that with the shoes I don't know if I'm gonna be in first things first let's hydrate and prime I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base and I'll take about this amount I don't know where I've read that it's better to actually press your moisturizer into the skin I did that already with my primer, but I didn't know that you need to do that with your moisturizer. So basically, it's better if you like slap yourself basically, like so. My hair is basically glued to my head. I had such dirty hair that I was like, I ain't gonna wash this. Put it in a ponytail. Do not judge me, you do the same. Or some of you are fancy with the dry shampoo. Well, that's not working for me. On this little candle holder I'm going to apply my foundation because I don't want to put it on my hand and then stain this beautiful oh <gasps> mother by the way in case it's not very noticeable I am wearing something underneath this so this is a top and then this is a jacket okay so I'm decent I'm gonna mix two shades I'm gonna do 3.5 and 6 come on work with me Come on you. Here's my foundation, one pump of each approximately. I did prepare a beauty blender, but the beauty blender sucks a little bit of that product. So I rather apply it with my fingers first and then like really blend it with the beauty blender. I like to apply the majority of my foundation, even if I have imperfections in here, I like to apply the majority of my foundation in the middle and then spread it to have a, a very thin layer towards the outer part of my face just because I feel like with foundation it's very noticeable especially in this area like if you apply a lot of foundation or if you have a very high coverage foundation not a lot of foundations can can be layered especially not when applied with the finger I'm going to take the concealer I have my Tarte shaped hip concealer close by and just dot it like this this is going to be my eyeshadow base now why do you need an eyeshadow base you don't really need an eyeshadow base but if you want your eyeshadows to be more saturated to really stand out and to blend beautifully then you need an eyeshadow base if you like your eyeshadow to be a little bit more sheer if it doesn't bother you the small veins that you might have then it's okay don't don't use any eyeshadow primer after i apply it i spread it like this with my finger so now i'm going to take a blending brush this is a mac 217 brush every time you're using a matte eyeshadow you want to use a blending brush a fluffier blush a brush now i'll take this color it's called honor this is from Cosette, but you can use even the um, just loose powder. And you just apply it everywhere. A very small quantity, you don't need anything crazy. And now, I warned you. I told you I paid a lot of money for it, so I'm going to use it a lot of times. Plus, I really like this palette. This is the Natasha Denona Tropic. Yes, Tropic palette. And of course, I'm going to use this color right here. Uh, yeah, Tiger, Tiger Lily, this one. Okay. All right. You better be pigmented. 
if you want the color to like really stand out, you can use a base that has the same color as your as your eyeshadow. And I'm going to use this Givenchy Col Couture Waterproof. This is in the color four. And I will apply this everywhere on my mobile lid. I think blue eyeshadow complements brown eyes so well. This pencil, this eye coal, is not as pigmented as I thought it would be. Now I'm gonna take that Tiger Lily. So I'll take it with my finger and I apply it on top of that coal. And this is what beauty looks like. If you're wondering, like, what is beauty in this life? Well, this is. Mm -hmm. Wow! A 228 brush from MAC. It's a wonder brush. I love this brush so much. I will spray it with a little bit of setting mist. And then I'll take that eyeshadow on my brush and pack it right here. Because in here I can get it with my finger. I will take another clean 228 brush and I'm going to use this color called Vintage Taupe. This one right here. And I will apply it right here to just give it a more softer look because it ends very like sharp. And I'm trying to blend but I'm not very happy with the way it blends. I don't know. I do not know if you can see that it turned into green right here. That is not normal for an eyeshadow to do that. Don't get me wrong, I still love the blue eyeshadow in the palette, but... How can blue and that pink become green? How? Somebody explain to me. We had such a good start. So here's what I'm gonna do because I really like it. I'm, I'm gonna take a Q-tip with some micellar water and I'm just going to take all this part off. Because I just don't like it. I don't. Okay, so I cleaned on top because I really did not like that green at all. Actually, I hated it. I'm just gonna use some other eyeshadows to create sort of like a gradient. I do like it sharp like that. If I would do like an editorial for a magazine, but to be honest, for myself, I like more wearable looks. I mean, this is simple, but it's it has like a sharp edge to it. I will take Sol Soleil. This is a matte eyeshadow from Cosette. I'll take my 228 brush from MAC. These eyeshadows don't disappoint. Not a lot of people are using them, but Cosette eyeshadows are really good. Guys, this is so much better. So much better. Okay, now from my Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette, I will take this color right here rich girl with just a flat brush this is a 248 brush from mac and i will apply it in the inner corner i will apply the same color like just on the highest points of my bra bone i'll try this tom ford mascara it's my first time using it but i liked the brush so let's give it a try That's not a bad mascara, but I would have to use it without such a dark eyeshadow. This way I can tell better. I did not use concealer, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll use light medium from Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. The same concealer, I will be using it as a illuminator. So just to brighten up the skin. I'll use it on my nose, on my chin. Then I'll take this cute little beauty blender and I'll blend everything. 
This is so useful around the eyes, this tiny little beauty blender. Oh. Now I'm going to use this Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. This is an intensity one and I'll use my Morphe G40 brush, the one that blends by itself. If you're looking for a brush that you could blend your concealer, you could blend your creams, this almost blends for you. Like I'm serious, it's that good. Okay, now that I'm done with the with all the creams, I'm going to set everything with powder. I'm going to use Laura Mercier. I like Laura Mercier because even though they say it's a translucent powder, it has a little beige in it. So I think this is why a lot of people love Laura Mercier. Because also it brightens up a little bit. I'm going to take the powder with my beauty, the mini beauty blender. And I like to just tap it like this press it into the skin. Then with the other side of my beauty blender, I just take the excess. Okay, now for the rest of my face, I will use uh, just a normal brush. This is from Hakuhodo, and it has no name on it. That's why I never say it. it has really no name, unless you can read this. I can't. So I'm just going to apply some powder on my forehead. If you don't set with powder, it's not going to last. I'm going to use this contour palette from Kat Von D just to bronze a little bit. And I'm going to use MAC 137 brush. And I'll take this color in the middle. This is actually my very first time using this. I do want a little bit of glow on my face. And I'll use the Fort de France uh, highlighter from NARS. Now for blush, I'm going to use this blush from Givenchy. I don't know the name of the color, I'll put it in the description down below. I'll, I'll use this brush from Zoeva, this is from the Phenomenon collection. And I'll take more of this color. I know you thought I would take the other one, but no. I'm more into like orangey. I'll apply it right here on the apple of my cheek. Moving on with the eyes, I'll take a little bit of concealer on a flat brush. You could do that with just a pencil. And I will apply that concealer on my waterline. On me, this lasts so much longer than a pencil. And this is going to give you the illusion of bigger, much bigger eyes. Can you see? Now I will take just a black coal and I will dot it right at the base of my lashes. I will simply dot it as if my natural eyelashes are thicker and darker. Now I'm going to use my favorite mascara for the lower lashes. This is MAC Extended Play Chica Black Lash. I've been using this since fourth grade. I'm kidding. But I have like, I don't know, seven years since I'm using this. But because I've applied that, I've dot that pencil, it looks like my eyelashes are so much like stronger. You see now immediately it turned into a very fun, very modern look with a twist because definitely has a little bit of a twiggy in it. But um, I love it. I love the way the eyes turned out. I will apply some false lashes, I think. I'm not sure yet. I want to take care of the lips. This Maybelline Super Skinny Matte Ink. This is in the color 55. A lot of people ask me, like, Andrea, do you like this? Because on me, it kind of looks like a nail polish. And if it does, it means you've applied too much. I like to apply it and then spread it with my finger. Okay, this is the best lip gloss that I've ever used. It works with everything. It works with every skin tone. Every single client that I have and I'm using this, she goes and buys it because it feels amazing on the lips. It smells good and it has a great color. Ugh. The only time when I'm going to use a lip gloss is when my hair is tight like that. Such a pretty, pretty lip color and I'm very happy with the way this look 
turned out. If you have brown eyes or hazel, blue looks amazing on you. My advice is wear blue, wear green, but then the rest of your uh, makeup, keep it neutral. If you want your makeup to last, use the All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay. This is the travel size, but they have normal sizes. But then if you're just looking to have that dewy, wet kind of a skin, then you're gonna use the Tatcha. If you're like me and you want your makeup to last longer, but you also want the dewy, fresh, luminous, glowy skin, I should have stopped at dewy, you use the Tatcha after you use the all lighter, use the Tatcha and it's like the perfect combination. For me at least, it's like my makeup does not move at all i promise you this is the game changer queen bees mm -hmm. yeah beyonce all right guys this wraps up today's video thank you so much for watching don't forget to do all the good stuff and subscribe if you're not subscribed already you can also follow me on instagram snapchat and facebook so check that out thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye Do you still love me if I were like this? Never be enough. Oh my god, it looks like I actually have breasts. I mean, I do have a little bit, but... She's just different, not lazy. Why am I actually...